Hello, welcome to Motorcycling with Carl. It's mid-February. Not really motorcycle riding weather at all here in Connecticut. Looking forward to April 1st. That's when I plan on start taking the bike out again. Um, I'm just doing this show to tell you about some upgrades that I'm hopefully going to be doing in the next uh, couple of weeks, couple of months. Um, I'm looking at getting a gas cap. A locking gas cap for my 2019 Harley Davidson Sportster. Um, somebody left a comment that said, "Hey, I see you don't have a locking gas cap. My buddy had rocks thrown in his gas tank, so I think you should get one." So I put some thought into it. They're not that expensive, so I think I'm gonna purchase and install a locking gas cap. I'll do a video on that. The other item I'm looking at purchasing, as you know, if you looked at my other videos, by the way, please do me a favor, like and subscribe. I'm starting to get a lot of views, but uh, people are not hitting that subscribe button, so hit that subscribe button. Um, as you know, I already have the Vance and Hine twin slash three inch slip on mufflers on my bike. Um, when I put those on, the dealer told me that I did not have to have the bike tuned or adjust it. Just slip on mufflers, you know, won't won't do much to it. The bike will adjust itself, the computer. But uh, this spring, I'm looking on, at putting on a Screaming Eagle high flow air filter. At that point, that's the whole stage one. So I will be also getting the Vance and Hines FP3 uh, fuel pack. I'll be putting that on the bike. I think you don't have to permanently mount it, but I think I'm going to permanently mount it on the bike. So I'll do a video of that, show you a spot where I find to put it and keep it on the bike. This way at any time you can go on your phone into the app and do any adjustments or see how your bike's running. So I'll definitely do that with you. Um, also, I'm going to be doing some moto vlogging take you on some of my favorite rides the one good thing about connecticut in the summertime is you can find some nice back roads to go riding around on so i'll take you on a couple of my uh favorite trips around here do some moto vlogging and the other thing i wanted to say was i was digging around my house and the first bike i ever bought brand new was a 1992 Yamaha Seika 2 600. I love that bike. I was about 20 years old when I got it. Loved the bike. Um, and as I was cleaning some stuff out in my house the other day, I found Cycle World 1992 Buyer's Guide from when I bought the bike brand new. As you could see, I bought the Buyer's Guide because the bike I was interested in was on the cover, on the back, it was a beautiful bike for what you paid for it at the time. So if I go in the in the book here, let me see if I can find Yamaha. Okay. Here it is in the book. Yamaha Seika 2 600, list price $37.99, displacement 599cc, uh, transmission speed 6, final drive, chain, front and rear disc brakes, fuel capacity 4.5 gallons, dry weight 401 pounds. It's really cool to find this book, I think, to go through and be able to see how much the bikes have changed, how much they're listed for, you know, what their weights were back at the time. So if any of you are interested in a 1992 that might be in this buyer's catalog and want to know a statistic, leave a comment. I'll look it up and I'll post it. But I am going to go to the, let's see what the Harley Davidson Harley Davidson. I have the Iron 1200, so I'm going to look up the Harley Davidson Sportster 1200. 
Mine's a 2019. I think I paid around 10 grand brand new. So in 1992, the list price was $6,400. So it's up probably about four grand. Um, the dry weight was 470 pounds. So I'm not quite sure what the weight was, but I think it's got to be reasonably cr close. The transmission speed was still five speed back then like it is now. Final drive was belt, had front and rear disc brakes, and it gives you a little write-up about it. So like I said, if you guys want to know what the list price of a 1992 bike was from this buyer's catalog or have any questions, leave it in the comments. And do me a favor, please like and subscribe my channel. I really can't wait to do some more of the updates I have listed here. And most of all, I can't wait for April to get out and start riding. I am not a winter person. I don't like it. Fortunately, here in Connecticut, it's winter. It's been a little cool, but we have not had much snow. Thank you. All right, so this is Carl saying, laugh a lot, be nice, and stay safe.